I've been riding Aprilia's new RSV4 RF at the launch in Misano in Italy. Back to basics seems to be the mantra for some motorcyclists at the moment, like the yard built fraternity. And if you're one of them, you're going to hate the RSV4 RF. It's a limited to 500 edition of the new RSV4 RR, which in turn takes over from the old RSV4. It's got loads of updates, 60 more brake horsepower, but confusingly, the RR won't be coming to the UK, so we can only get this RF. Got it? It's a Prilia's 18,000 pound top trump with a race pack consisting of a set of forged aluminium wheels, an Olin suspension front and rear, and an Olin steering damper. It's got all the gadgets, traction control, wheelie control, launch control, race ABS, and a telemetry package which lets you map your lap with a smartphone app and load pre-programmed traction control settings for the circuit you're on. Pretty clever, right? It's also got super pole graphics and a plaque on the top yoke. If you're going to shut out 18 grand on a motorcycle, you'd want a plaque, wouldn't you? Claim power is 201 brake horsepower at the crank, but I bet you the plaque from your top yoke, it's no way near that at the rear wheel, unlike the new R1 and 1299 Panigale. But the RSV4 has never been about peak numbers. The strength of the 65 degree V4 is in its natural characteristics, from its lighter crank that helps make the bike effortless to steer to the torque rich power delivery and the racket it makes. This is a bike that excels in one area, and that's how it makes you feel. It wasn't as stable as I'd have liked down Mizano's big back straight, although some testers did have this dialed out with a bit more preload on the rear. The instability was a small price to pay for how it feels at more than five degrees from upright. The front end feels more planted the more you lean on it, and after a few laps, I knew the bike could tip into that fifth gear right-hander at the back of the circuit just shy of 150 miles an hour. Speed and lean don't phase it. It didn't understeer or feel vague through that fast turn. It's every bit the race bike. Precise, tight, full of feedback. Turn 12 requires second gear and 70 miles an hour, and on the approach, you're braking from 140 miles an hour while lent over. Taking a big squeeze of the Brembo calipers at that speed and lean angle feels like suicide, but the front tire just digs in and takes it. Meanwhile, that engine sounds like a MotoGP race going on underneath you. It's such a fantastic sound. Feed it a gear and the pitch changes, the bars resonate momentarily, but the bike just keeps on pulling. But it never feels frantic. It's got very tall gearing and it racks up speed to a point where your ears don't believe your eyes. But when you get on the brakes, you realize that your eyes weren't lying. The race ABS isn't as good as some systems I've tried. Most allow the rear ABS to be disengaged, but this system just makes the ABS less sensitive. You can always switch it off completely, and when I was using the rear brake, it would chatter a bit, so I just stopped using it completely. But this is possibly the best bike I've ridden for corner entry. The front end is sublime. With the race mode and slipper clutch, it reduces engine braking to a point where you can just bang down the gears and pile into that corner. There's no chatter from the chassis, no clattering from the engine, and no need to match the revs on downshift. Traction control that lets you know it's working can be annoying. On the RSV4 RF, it trims power microscopically. It's so you can never feel it working. In level five of eight, it lets the rear get a little bit loose, but keeps things under control. In level one, it lets you hang big slides out of corners, and it makes you feel you're convinced that it's down to your immaculate throttle control. Thankfully, it's not a perfect bike. That'd be boring. I'd like a little bit better straight line stability, the electronics aren't intuitive, the dash is a bit of a mess. It's like trying to work out how to set the clock on your oven. The RSV4 RF is the antithesis of back to basics, but the technology doesn't numb the feel you get from the bike, quite the opposite. The RF makes you feel like you're doing everything right, like you're directly connected to the engine via a pair of good old fashioned throttle cables. Forget the gadgets, this bike lets you focus on one thing in its purest form, riding.